Welcome to the common moments or stucky fic game. So in this game, you'll first hear me narrate a storyline or something Steve or Bucky said about each other, and then decide whether this is fan fiction or actual plot or dialogue in the comics. Since in the comics there were quite a few declarations of love for each other, so it might not be as easy as you thought this game would be. Please tell me in the comment section how many did you got right. All these years, when Steve thought Buggy was dead, he always would go to a place where he died, and spend a day there in silence, mourning Buggy. This is an actual plot. Bucky had always wanted to go to the Grand Canyon, but he never had the chance. So Steve drew Bucky on his sketchbook and went to the Grand Canyon and held out this portrait, so that in a way Bucky finally visited the Grand Canyon. This is an actual plot. Steve never goes on a mission without Bucky. So there was one time that he did. He was sulking all the way, only to find Bucky found a way to tag along, as a cook's helper to be with him. This is an actual plot. Here's the horrible truth of it, cover to cover. For as long as Steve can remember, the entire universe began and ended with James Buchanan and Barnes. It spawned on the axis of them, but then James Buchanan Barnes fell miles into a frozen ravine, and the universe, in an act of unspeakable cruelty, kept on spinning on. This is Ao Three, one of my favorite fan fiction called A Long Winter. Steve blackmails potential witness so that he could testify for Bucky. It sounded like some OC fan fiction, but this is actually a real plot. Steve said, "Me and Bucky will become hobos if we have to. I don't care. Small price." This is a real line from Captain America Reborn. Fake Steve and Bucky, who had done plastic surgery to look like them, wanted to take Steve out. So fake Bucky went on running in front of Steve during his holidays with Sharon Carter, and he immediately drew Steve's attention. Indeed, they punched Steve. Fake Bucky said, "I knew my face would suck him in." This is an actual plot. Someone posted online saying Captain America is undercover agent for Hydra, and Bucky just full on destroying those trolls. This is a real plot from Amazing Spider-Man, where Daily Bugle is plotting doing such a thing and mentioned Bucky would do exactly that to draw some click to the article. Steve said he will kill for Bucky. This is real plot. Steve dreamed of Bucky constantly during those years being frozen. After he had woken up, Avenger said, "You had one hell of a guardian angel watching over you." This is an actual plot in the comics. Captain America, red, white, and blue. Bucky was his voice of reason when he was underwater. Bucky was always in his brain, telling him, "I'm here for you. You will make it. You can do everything." And then the Avengers trying to wake him up. He saw Bucky sleeping away and said, "I can't do it without you." Bucky said, "You can do everything. Trust me." Before he woke up and screamed Bucky's name. Bucky learned how to fight from his father when he was a teenager, since he wanted to protect Steve. This is A O three, but it could very much be true in the MCU. Steve and Bucky would often go to the movie together in the army, and their officer would call Bucky Steve's girlfriend. This is an actual plot from Captain America: White. Steve said about Bucky, "It's a terrible thing to have learned that sometimes you don't get to say everything you need to say before someone you love dies." 
This is an actual plot. Steve said he didn't care about the mission. He just couldn't lose Bucky. This is an actual plot. All I needed was to feel like I was doing something good in the world, and maybe at the end of the day, I have someone to come home to. That's you, Buck. That's all you. You're the someone. You're the home. You're the place where I live. This is A O Three from one of my favorite fic called A No Grave. The Red Skull said Captain America has a soft spot for Bucky. This is real plot from Captain America White. Bucky's dead. Steve intertwined his fingers with Bucky's mental hand to mourn him. This is real plot. Steve said, "You're the soul inside of me, even now, even though you're long gone." This is A O Three, a line from a fan fiction called "A Long Winter," but it felt very realistic.